Okay. So I wanted to do an actual live video of me using this product. I don't know if I will survive this because I think it's going to hurt. And <laughs> hold on, let me get myself ready for this. <clears throat> okay, so I got, this is the pack that it came in and it's a facial hair remover. It says I have to clean my face. My face is already clean. Um, <laughs> let me let me start with the easiest thing. So this um, this is a I guess a shaver or something. I okay. I get this when this is like meant for you know shaving like the upper hairs here. But I use this to do my eyebrows. So people ask me like, well, how are my eyebrows like so great? They're not great now, but I use this blade thing for my eyebrows. But the reason why I'm doing this video is to use this. This is, oh my God, I don't even want to use this. Okay, so this is like a U, this is, oh, it's a stick. And it's meant to take out all the facial hair that's on your face, all the little fuzzies that's on your face that you want to, you know, remove. And so what you're supposed to do is hold it, you're supposed to bend it like this, right? Hold it to your face wherever you have your hairs and you're supposed to rotate the U like that. This shit hurts. I'm sorry for cursing, but this hurts. It's like a, um, it's like an epilator. I don't know if anyone's ever used an epilator, but that hurts. I mean, I'm sure this is more effective than shaving or using nair, because I guess it's gonna pull the hair from, um, hold on, make sure you guys can hear me. I'm sure it's gonna pull the hair from the root, but boy does it hurt. It's like threading. It's, has anyone gone, you know, thread, get their eyebrows threaded, but, this is meant for the upper lip. You're not supposed to use it for your bikini area. You're not supposed to use it for your eyebrows. You're not supposed to use it for your legs. This shit hurts like a bitch. <laughs> so like I said, you're supposed to put it over your lip and turn like this. And it pulls all the little hairs on your face. That's all I wanted to show you guys. But this shit hurts so much. Oh my God. I don't even want to demonstrate, but so when you do this and you and you go like that, the hairs are supposed to. I don't even. Want, I feel like I. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh fuck! <laughs> Shit hurts. But to know that you're doing a good job, besides the fact that it hurts you, you'll see all the hairs with all the the white bulbs. Um, you think it's gonna grow back thicker? I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, they, they say that for shaving when you shave your underarms or like, I don't know. I don't have an issue when I pluck for it to come back thicker, but is that a myth? Is that is that for real? When you when you do that, does it does it really come back thicker? Because this is this hurts. It does the job, but it hurts. So like I said before, it's like an epilator. And I don't know if anyone's ever used an epilator, but it's a, a a machine that you like plug into the wall or whatever, and it's it's like you shave your legs, but it's it's fine. It's like the razor is like a machine that pulls each hair individually out of the out of the skin, and it hurts. Um, but it pulls it from the root. It pulls all the hair out. But this, oh my god, this hurts. This hurts. I mean, I would say get it if you guys aren't don't mind the pain because it's like threading if you thread your eyebrows but this is meant for the upper lip and I know a few people that have upper lip issues <laughs> with hair where it shows um, more than others but this so you're supposed to put it over your upper lip and twist it and it's supposed to pull each hair like this it's like a slinky I don't know if you could see hold on how it separates so once you're twisting it it pulls each hair individually right it hurts it I mean 
if you are if you don't care about pain I mean I think it could be done if someone does it for you but if you're doing it for on yourself I don't think I don't think you'll be able to do it I don't think anyone will be able to do it but it says the instructions say to place the stick over your face and roll it between your fingers inward and outward. Do this until all hair is removed. Only use for upper lip, chin, jawline, cheeks, and sideburns. Clean the stick using alcohol, not water. Do not use it on eyebrow, armpit, legs, or bikini area. Someone would be bold enough to do this on their bikini area or their armpit or eyebrows, but not me. This, this boy, bad boy right here hurts. And it comes with um, a razor stick. This I use on my eyebrows. Sometimes on my underarms too. And any places that I miss on my on my legs. But this, this I use. Sasha, what are you raising your hand for? Meaning that you want to use this? Or you use you use the, the razor stick? Because, man, that hurts. Mm, it hurts. Okay. So since I have your attention, hold on, I got, okay, so let me see what you guys think. I, this is totally not makeup related, not beauty related, but since I have a few ladies on here, I got a smart tracking device. Okay, so I'm going to read what it says about the smart tracking device. Um... So this, okay, so it's a GPS, it's a real-time GPS tracker, and it's meant to be for your kids and your pets. Just for your kids and your pets, not your boyfriends, not your girlfriends. You're not supposed to stitch holes into their clothes and stick this in here, but in, in their clothes, but. So it's a GPS tracker, and I will open it to show you what it looks like. So, hold on. Okay. So it's this little, this thing is so small. So you, I don't even know how to turn it on because I'm just now opening this box. So bear with me. I just lost interest if I can't track them. I mean, listen, it, it advises you to use it for your kids and your pets, but if you feel like it's more useful to track your man, then by all means, use it to track your man or your girlfriend, wife or husband. You know? Let's see. So, <laughs> All right, so it comes, it's in a totally different language but this you're supposed to have it comes with um uh hold on oh it comes with two of them so yeah you're supposed to it's a smart tracking device that you put in your phone that i guess it comes with an app on your phone you can charge it and it comes with a little where is it oh this right here if you can see it this thing so you're supposed to stick it in here and it's supposed to open and there's a memory, a micro SIM card. So with the micro SIM card, you could take it out and um, you could take it out and, you know, put it in whatever adapter to see, you know, what, who, where the person or pet has been. And let me see, how much is this? If anyone's interested in purchasing a GPS tracker for their child or their <laughs> their pets or their significant other. This is hold on. How much is this? I'll tell you right now. <sighs> this is 80 bucks. This right here is 80 bucks. So it says, I'm going to read the advertisement for it. So it says, peace of mind for what you need most. With real-time reporting, you can breathe easy, knowing exactly where your children are, or your man, <laughs> or your wife, <laughs> while keeping your kiddos safe in, is the first priority. You can use your Circle GPS trackers to keep track of your pet's cell phone, car keys, and purses. So let me, okay, even though it's 80 bucks, right? 
It's not like it's not like it's a one time use thing. So it kind of is worth it for eighty bucks because you can. I mean, until the person finds it or your kids find it or whatever, but you can just where? Okay, tell me where you can actually put this without your kid or <laughs> your man. Where can you hide this? Where would where would where like this? This is really small. I mean, it's not super small, but it's small enough. But where can you really hide this for someone to not notice that you're tracking them? Give me some ideas. Where can this be hidden? Let me see. So start using your chat. Simply install the free app on your phone and set up a follower. It works with your phone's SIM card to start protecting the people who matter most right away with a battery that lasts up to six days. Stitch into his hoodie. All right, so we have a suggestion of stitching it into the hoodie. So like, hold on, I have a hoodie right here. <clears throat> so, so this hoodie, right? So you would stitch, like, where would you cut it? Where would you cut this? So you would cut it like, you can't cut it in here because when they put it over their head, it's gonna smack them in the face so they can feel that. Where where can you really stitch it? <laughs> the tongue of his sneakers. Okay, that that they won't notice. I mean, unless they press on it, but who does that? Who Who presses on the tongue of their sneakers? But that's actually not a bad idea. Stitching it inside the tongue of their sneakers. The hoodie, I don't know. The hoodie, they might they might find it. But um, but the sneaker, maybe that might work. Anyone else have suggestions on where to put a GPS tracker on their significant other or their child? Children, you can put it on their backpacks. You can stitch it in their backpacks. But that could be taken off of them if they were to get snatched. Um... So probably the, their sneakers would be the best place. So that's not a bad idea. So, but this is 80 bucks. Let me see, what else do I have that I could talk about? That's basically it. So, yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And if you guys have any more ideas on where to hide this on your significant other or your your child, because it's meant for your child and your pet, but you know, not actual adult people, but you know, if you decide to track your significant other, then throw some ideas at me on how you can track your <laughs> significant other. Anyway, all right guys, peace out.